some classic tunes from previous England campaigns. Sometimes it seems, doesn't it, the better the song, the better England do. But this year, there is no official England song. Ahead of the last World Cup back in 2014, John Mortar tried to get this song, Noble England, by the late Rick Mayle, to number one. Gentlemen in England, bend up every spirit to its full height. On, on, you noble English. On, on, you England, you noble Englishman. Come on, you England, you noble Englishman. On, on, you England, you noble Englishman. The late and much lamented Rick Mayle. It was John Mortar who tried to do the business there. And uh, John joins us on the phone now. Hello, John. Hello, Eric. Um, it didn't exactly work, did it, two years ago? Uh, well, it did. It got to number seven. It was the best-selling uh, football song, England football song of the World Cup. But so, sadly um, missed that top it. slot which you were, if you were aiming for. Well, it did. But realistically, um, we, we didn't really we'd quite do the number one but uh, we, we just wanted to, to give Rick a good send off you know yeah. and we wanted to just really sort of show that he was loved and um, you know and it was just a, an absolute honour to work with him so uh, we, yeah we just wanted to sort of go out in style really and, and yeah top 10 um, best selling football song of that year can't really yeah cool. well no you're right I mean that is uh, uh, that's an accolade uh, in itself, isn't it? And as you said, a, a credit to work with him. Much, you know, he enjoyed doing that. Um, what was he like? Rick was. It, it was. It was. A, well, as you can probably imagine, he was a very funny guy. Um, and even sort of, be, you know, off camera uh, and away from other, he, he still was just a really, really funny bloke. Very, very genuine. Um, just really nice to be around. We, me, and my my then wife Tracy, we had a cup of tea with him. Um, Tracy took his photos for his uh, football single. Yeah, it was it was great, R- really, really, but but very funny, very funny guy. So you were pushing for it then back in 2014. What what qualities do you think make a good football anthem and indeed a, a best selling football anthem? Cool, the uh, the killer question. Um, well, I, I I don't know. I think with with Rick's song with Noble England, it was a little bit different. Um, it, it wasn't quite in the same mould as all the ones that had been been before. You know, it, it was obviously a Shakespearean mm. uh, quotes that uh, really was was the lyrics. Um, so I think you know having something a bit different that that is a, that isn't the same as just repeating all the old England greats from the years gone by. Um, you know, you can get a few hackneyed ones that, that sound a bit samey. But uh, but you never know with the English British public. You just don't know, you know. Um, it, it, there's some very strange things. I mean, you know, the whole uh, the Will Griggs on Fire song is doing incredibly well at the moment, um, which is pretty much Northern Ireland song, you know. So you, you just don't know. You just do not know. Uh, what about a, a sort of anthemic chorus? I know you say that that Rick's wasn't just about that. It was him sort of doing a soliloquy over over some of the background. But something that's memorable and repeatable and easy on the year that those three qualities must be must be part of it surely oh well, i wholeheartedly agree with you yeah yeah um but getting all those three to to line up perfectly is never easy um it really isn't i mean it, obviously there's been some classics in the past i mean my, my personal favorite football song ever is england new order uh, world oh, in motion yeah. oh, absolutely. just i think that's that's the best one Way better than Three Lions. Vindaloo, you mentioned earlier. I love that. Just nice and simple. Um, you, if you can shout it in a pub, <laughs> it's great, basically. Do you know what? I think the, the guy who wrote the EastEnders theme tune, you know, the... Da, 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 yep, yep. I think was suggesting that if it couldn't be whistled by a milkman, he didn't think it would work as a theme tune for a soap. So his definition was really as long as a milkman could whistle it coming down the path... It will work for a soap theme. Maybe it's something similar for football songs because you need to have the the entire terraces uh, together, don't you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's got to be simplistic, you know. It has to be something simple that you're right. Anybody could pick it up, and you could be singing it, shouting it. You know, it's got to have that quality of just any anything can can have a crack at it. You know.
And yet David Baddiel, who, of course, was behind the, the, the Three Lions uh, in 1996, which you've already indicated you, you're not a huge fan of, ha- has said that that song killed off the football anthem. D- do you agree with him? No, I mean, I've, I've got a lot of respect for David. Uh, I used to be a big fan of him and, and Rob Newman Skinner. back in oh, the day. Oh, Newman but, is, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, but um, no. No, I mean, look, I like Three Lions. It's it's a good tune. Three Lions was sang on the terraces. It was a num- big number one. Um, don't get me wrong, it's a great tune. But um, I think there's better football songs than Three Lions. I, I don't think that uh, that is the ultimate best one. He'd obviously say that because it's his song. So, yeah, fair play to the guy. <laughs> but, uh, um, no, I think that they, there's, there's a lot of good ones out there. I mean, look, hey, we've got one from Essex at the moment that, that could be doing quite well called Oi Roy. So, you know, there's, there's loads out there. And, and I think uh, it's, it's all out in the open for anyone to take that crown that David Baddiel has supposedly got. And when you try to do this, when you try to get these songs uh, up there, whether it's top 10, top 5, whatever, um, what do you do precisely? What's the, the campaign, the push to, to make it work? Um, well, I think the key thing is with any of them is, is selling it to people that they want to be part of it, um, that they want to be part of a crowd. Uh, that that, that all want the same thing. We all want that to be number one. We all want that to do so well. Um, And you really, that's the main part you have to sell. Um, We did it with Rage Against the Machine. We did it with the Hillsborough single. Um, We nearly did it with Rick's single. You've got to get people together. And, and, um, you know, social media is perfect for that. If you can nail it, it can work. It can work. But you've got to have that sort of all, all for one type attitude, you know. So are you out in Europe uh, somewhere uh, over the tournament or are you watching on the telly back home in South Wooden Ferris? Uh, no, I'll, I'll be watching from home. Um, I, alas, I have my, uh, my children to look after. So uh, unfortunately, I won't be out and around in Europe. I'm, I'd love to. I really would. But, uh, but no, I should be watching at home or, uh, or down the Oakland pub in Woodham or somewhere like that, you know. And, uh, and well, hopefully um, England can do very well. Um, it's, uh, I think we've got a good chance this year. Shame about the football kit, but uh, I think we can do well. <laughs> You're right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and shame about we haven't got a proper song, not an actual single designated one. But John Mortar, thank you so much. Joining us from South Woodham Ferries, despite the fact that this year there is no official England song.